what are some good strategies for communicating, uh, you know, with your staff and also with your patients? Yeah, and you know, um, there's a risk too. Um, now we have communication and misinformation. So the World Health Organization has suggested that we are dealing with a pandemic and infodemic as well, because there's so much going on around. I think for leaders, what's effective uh, so that they can help their coworkers, hospital workers, physicians, and the patients is some of the info has to be posted more aggressively. It's not just a restroom where you post a flyer. It has to be in different places, one. And two, the communication should be periodic. You cannot just communicate via email once in a week and just leave people alone. So this is the time to ramp up on communication, like a daily briefing note. You know, I think as it's compared to how Dr. Fauci uh, comes to communicate with everyone around here in the nation, and people are watching him more than watching a celebrity now. And I think that's the impression that leaders have to create with their clients and coworkers that once a day, optimum amount of communication on the daily updates, number of cases, and what we're running through, and guidance from the CDC. And you know, try not to use sources that are not authentic. So you, you know, citing some random newspaper is not what people should do. Always keep people informed of the local climate and the guidance from CDC. And maybe add a hint of what's coming up next and what we can prepare for. So yes, the dose of communication uh, is critical right now. And the volume of the message is critical. You don't have to send like 10 pages of material. It has to be bullet points and today and tomorrow.